Happy Tuesday, everyone. Today is August 20th, 2024. Look, y'all, I did my own nails, gel polish. Y'all like? I love this green. Um, I need to buy me some more gel polish colors. Hold on, y'all. I'm trying to put on my shoes. It is now 1.39. I'm getting ready to go pick up my kiddos from school. I'm gonna get there early, which is fine. So while I'm there, I'm either gonna be talking to y'all or I'm just gonna do some Bible reading because I haven't been in my word like I'm supposed to be. So that's what I'm gonna go do. Y'all, I think I'm going to change the way I am doing my channel. I really don't know because I'll be saying stuff and then I change my mind like literally. Oh Lord. Hold on, y'all. Work with me. Five minutes after that. Just like with my car. I know I've been talking about my car last two videos. Just like I was saying, it was the sensor, just like we expected. So the sensor still had a warranty, so my husband was able to get the sensor for free. And he went ahead and he replaced that sensor. So my car appears to be working fine. This is going to be my first time driving it since he fixed it. He just put the sensor in last night. So we're going to find out today <laughs> what it's going to do. So yeah, y'all, I am loving my nails. I did it myself. It's not perfect, but it's perfect enough for me. Of course, my left hand looked better than my right because I did my left hand with my right. So to do my right hand it was a bit of a struggle to do it my left since I am a righty and not a lefty so yeah I got a whole kit um I got a whole bunch of different colors of nail of gel polish I am gonna buy like it came in a box um I think it's like 36 different colors or 24 something like that but I am gonna buy some more boxes because Paying people like to do your hair, to do your nails, it's just beginning too much. Like these people are so unprofessional, but they want to call themselves professionals. Like, sorry, that's my AC. It's hot. Y'all gonna have to hear the AC in the background. Like, remember when I told y'all in the other video? Like, I texted a young lady. She never wrote me back. She wrote me back two days later, saying, "Oh yeah, I had that day available. This is the time that I have available." So I was like, "Okay, cool." I was like, "Do you do feet as well? And how much for your services?" It's been now an additional two or three days. Still haven't heard back. So I was like, I don't have time. Let me just do my own nails. Go back to doing my own nails. Um, and my hair after a while, I won't be doing much to it. Ooh. I won't be doing much to it after a while anyways. Because next week, next week is my um, procedure. So I'm excited about that. I just don't know how... It's going to work when I go to work, having the scarf and stuff on my head for so long and just being paranoid about knocking the grass out. And I'm a little like, ugh, thinking about the pain. Let me start driving. Um, give me one moment. Okay, so yeah, that was the purpose of me bringing up the whole thing with the sensor. Y'all, I changed my mind so much from one minute to the next. I was like, yeah, I need to get a new car. I'm done putting money into this car. But since he was able to get the sensor for free due to the warranty, we just um, continue to change it and, uh, <laughs> until the warranty uh, expires from the sensor, I guess. But either way, I won't be giving my son this car only because the car will cut off without warning and I'd be damned if my child is driving this car and it cuts off you know that's just a recipe for disaster um you know for car accidents or whatever and I know y'all might be saying but you drive you're driving with them in the car yeah true but I feel like I will be able to have a little bit more control of the situation rather than my son god forbid something happened like that to him so Eventually, we will have to get a new car between this year. Well, not this year. Between 2025 and maybe 2027, 2026, something like that. So, yeah. I'm just going to go back to doing my own hair and nails. Because these stylists, quote-unquote professionals, be doing the most. Um, 
I haven't figured out what I'm going to do with my hair after it starts to fill in with my edges. I'm not going to put any relaxes in it, but like, um, as y'all know, like I have PCOS, so I have been experiencing hair loss in other areas of my head because of PCOS, and I don't do nothing with my hair. Like, I am very lazy with my hair. I literally do nothing but throw a wig on and off. Um, the most I do is spray water on it and use either a mixture that I made or like some hair grease, but I don't do nothing to my head, so it's not me playing in my head because that's not what I do. Is um, hair loss from this medical situation. So I'm starting, like it's filling in, but at the same time it's coming out, like literally at the same time. It's weird, I can't really explain it. So I'm like, dang, like I'm gonna have edges. Like I just, I don't know. I'm not, I can still wear my hair in the fro because yesterday when I combed my hair out, you really can't see the thinning. Cause like I said, it's filling in, but coming out at the same time. So when I combed my hair in the fro last night, um, after, before and after I comb, before and after I wash my hair, um, you can't see the balding unless the wind blows. <laughs> but either way, I don't think I am confident enough to wear just a fro. Like I need my hair, like I wanna do like, you know how we have those natural curls? And I try a lot of products like experimenting with my hair just being at home. I try to get my hair to curl. My hair just, it doesn't do well. One product gets my hair to curl, but I don't want to use that product on my whole head only because that product makes your hair super duper duper hard, which is the got to be glued in the black pack. That is the only product that gets my natural curls to like pop. But I don't want to be walking around here with like Roman noodles because of how hard they are like I want it to be curly but like soft at the same time and I don't mind if it's like a little a little bit of crunch but I don't mm -mm. and that's the only product that I found to like get my hair to curl so I don't know I guess we're gonna see how it is like even my son last night asked me he was like mommy the youngest he said mommy how your hair gonna look? Cause I thought he was trying to be funny. <laughs> because last, uh, yesterday I took out, I had twists instead of braids underneath my wig, I had individual twists with my natural hair. So I took those twists out and this was before I washed my hair. So it was just sticking up all over my head. And then he was like, mommy, he was like, how your hair gonna look? And then I was like, what, how my hair gonna look? He was like, yeah. I was like, well, I'm just gonna put a wig back on after I wash it. Cause I, you know, whatever. I said, after I wash them, put a wig back on. He was like, um, no, I'm talking about the front. And I was like, oh, with my edges, the hair transplant? He was like, yeah. I was like, well, I don't know. And he was like, well, how you don't know? I said, son, I don't know until I get it done and see the results. And then he was like, oh, so you still gonna wear wigs after that? <laughs> And I was like, the plan is not to wear wigs. Like, I'm tired of wearing wigs, so the plan is not to wear any more wigs. I said, but it's gonna take, you know, time before you see the full results, like between a year and two years. And then he was just like, oh. And then he walked away, <laughs> as he always do. But, um, so yeah. But I really don't have nothing much to talk to you guys about. I'm off today. And I just figured, let me give get some footage. I guess we can do a little chit chat. So yeah, so the car situation, I guess is on hold until, I don't know. My mom, I don't know. Um, I felt horrible because I made the post about voting for primary, how important it is to vote for um, primary and it is very important, y'all. I myself forgot to vote like and this it's been on my mind because I've been looking at the candidates um I've been doing my research on them to see who I want to vote for and time just went by and I was like I'm gonna do it on Monday when I'm off yesterday I meant to do it and then I forgot and then when I remember I was like dang and I got to my husband I said we were supposed to go vote today and then today he told me to go vote and I know this may sound silly 
but I really didn't want to go by myself because my husband was like, well, go boat now. He was like, this is the better time to do it in the morning. But this morning, y'all, I woke up, um, I went ahead and I fixed my kids lunch. And since I was already fixing their lunch, I was like, let me just cook them breakfast so that way my husband don't have to stop on the way of taking them to school because he took them to school this morning. So he don't have to stop and get them breakfast, let me cook. So I just whipped up a quick, um, I made like a big omelet, split it in threes, made a few little sausages, and my husband bought croissants. So I just added butter and um, heated them up. So that was their breakfast. And then after that, I got back. No, I did a little few things around the house and then I got back in bed for about like another hour and a half trying to go back to sleep. But then I heard the garbage man in the front yard backing up. I was like, oh my goodness gracious. I just want a few more moments of sleep, of shut eye. So I couldn't go back to sleep. So eventually I got up. But by the time I got up, I think it was close to the, like really got out of bed, like 9, 30, 10, something like that. I don't know. And I cooked myself some, um, I made myself some brown rice and I seasoned it with lemon juice and I added some cilantro and lime seasoning, black pepper, and a little bit of complete seasoning. Y'all, that was just me experimenting. <laughs> and it was really good. It was very good, very flavorful. You can taste the lemon from the lemon juice. It was some good rice. So I think from now on, that's how I'm gonna make my rice until I get sick of it. And then I made me some um, tuna patties. So it was just canned tuna. I added one egg, cause it was just one can of tuna. One egg, I had, um, I bought some coconut flour. So I added the coconut flour. I added my cilantro and lime seasoning. Pretty much the same thing I added for the rice. Black pepper, a little bit of complete seasoning, and I added some lemon juice to that as well. I also added some um, minced garlic, and I added some jalapeno juice. That was pretty good. So, I got some left over. I was asking my mom if she wanted, but she didn't run back. I guess she's busy at work. So, yeah, y'all. Going to pick up my little ones, and then I have to stop by Publix to, um, tonight I'm cooking collard greens. I'm using some cilantro again, but this time I'm gonna get some fresh cilantro to add to my corn. So to the corn, I'm gonna add again lemon juice. I guess I, I'm just craving lemon juice. I'm gonna add some lemon juice to the corn tonight. I'm gonna add some fresh cilantro. And I got that idea from a lady, a young lady that I follow. I will put her name on the screen. I believe it's called um, Me and Three. So she made like a Chipotle um, dinner for her family. And in her corn, she added like um, onions, fresh cilantro, fresh lime, fresh lemon. What else? I feel like she added something else to her corn, but it looked good. But I'm not gonna add all that because honestly, I don't eat onions, the kids don't eat onions. I'm just gonna keep it basic. I'm just gonna add some fresh cilantro, lemon juice, my cilantro and lime seasoning. That's it. So I'm cooking corn, collard greens, and some chicken. The chicken, I'm just gonna make some barbecue chicken. And I'm gonna do it half and half. Like I'm gonna make some barbecue chicken and the other half of the chicken, I'm gonna make it with um y'all ever let y'all chicken soak in Olive Garden Italian dressing? That right there is good. You let it soak and you see the season that baby good and you bake it and then towards the end you broil it so that the skin get crisp. It's so good. So I'm gonna cook that with some onions and bell peppers. And I may use onions and bell peppers for my food, but I don't actually like eat it I just use it for seasoning purposes so I guess I can add it to the corn and just pick it out I don't know so yeah that's my plan for today um and then I may or may not go out and vote which is horrible on my part so Laura knows if the people I'm interested in is not on that general ballot can't complain because I didn't go vote. But if we have enough time today, once my husband gets home, we'll go and vote. But I know it depends on how long the lines are too, which is probably gonna be extremely long. 
they're opening to seven. I don't know. We'll see. We shall see. So I hope you guys are having a fabulous, fabulous Tuesday. I thought like it was something else I needed to tell y'all. Y'all, these leggings from um Sheen are so comfortable. I bought these leggings, they're shorts. I bought these leggings about Mm, a year or two ago and they are really good quality at least this particular you know biker shorts that's what they're called um they're very comfortable the quality is still there they don't have any holes they're not thin and then i bought multiple colors but the only ones I wear the most are black because the other ones are too vibrant of a color. Too bright, vibrant of a color. It's how that sound. Too vibrant of a color. Y'all know what I mean. Um, I definitely need to upgrade my closet because I was looking at it and I was like, this is very childlike. <laughs> so I definitely need to go through my closet because I really don't be having nothing to wear. Like, I be struggling trying to put stuff together. So I really do need to go through my closet and get rid of a lot of stuff and add to my closet because it's sad. It's real sad on my side of the um, closet. Real sad. So yeah, I'm just gonna do, um, once I get there, I'm almost there to school. I'm gonna read this, which I showed y'all the other day. I'm gonna do at least one or two of these you have to actually like read the scripture to understand it not just to read it and then I have my little notepad here with me and then my mom gave me this book to read so I started reading it and it's really good and it really opened my eyes and I was like dang you know that makes sense so I think I'm gonna read this one first because this is more of an easy read and it's not necessarily to study um, it gives you insight. So I think I'll read that one first. Read a few pages of that one and then read one or two things of the, the Bible study. So I guess I'm going to go ahead and end this video. I will take y'all with me to Publix, but I feel like almost all my videos is saying Publix, Walmart, and Ross. <laughs> Publix, Walmart, and Ross. So... I'm not gonna bother y'all with that today. <laughs> and like I said, it's just gonna be a quick in and out. Oh, I tried the mango um, tahini ice creams. Yesterday, popsicles, whatever they call it. Yesterday I ate two of them, today I ate two. They're really good. My husband, of course, and he told me, he was like, oh, I'm gonna eat it with you, I'm gonna taste it with you. This man took one little lick and he was like, mm-mm, I don't like that tahini. And I'm like, you knew Tahi was on it. And then last night when I tried to give him some more, and he was like, oh, there's, um, you took all the Tahi off. I was like, boy, the Tahi is over the entire popsicle. So basically I'm stuck eating a full box by myself, which is fine because I like stuff like that. It's not bad. But would I buy that ice cream all the time? No. But will I get it again? Yes. And lately, I haven't been having no, like, much of an appetite. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. My appetite really don't be that. Like, sometimes I be having to force myself to eat when I realize that I haven't eaten. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. And I haven't been, like I said in my other video, I lost 10 pounds because I was up there. I was past my pregnancy weight. <laughs> So I was past my pregnancy weight and um, I lost the 10 pounds. I lost the 10 pounds, sorry y'all. And I've been able to maintain 168, 170. So I'm not gaining weight. If I do lose literally two pounds, but more than likely that's water, rate, water weight. So I haven't been gaining any weight, but I cannot get, for the life of me, get below 168. Well, one time I did get below 168 within the last month. I went to 165 and I was so freaking happy. But it was literally for a couple of hours because it shot right back up. So, yeah. 
All right, y'all, so I'm gonna get ready and finally end this little chit chat. If you guys have any questions or if there's something in particular that you would like me to discuss, let me know in the comment section. Oh, one last thing. <laughs> um, I'm gonna be changing the direction of my channel. At least that's what I want to do, that's the plan. I don't know exactly what it is that I'm gonna do, but more than likely I will be changing the direction of my channel. And if I don't, don't beat me up, okay? Cause again, my mind is always racing and I'm always changing my mind. So have a fantastic Tuesday and I will talk to y'all in my next video. Bye.